Second Chronicles 26 Uzziah, king of Judah Then the people of Judah chose Uzziah to be the new king in place of Amaziah. Amaziah was Uzziah's father. Uzziah was 16 years old when he became king. Uzziah rebuilt the town of Elath and gave it back to Judah. He did this after Amaziah died and was buried with his ancestors. Uzziah was 16 years old when he became king. He ruled 52 years in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Jechaliah. Jechaliah was from Jerusalem. Uzziah did what the Lord wanted him to do. He obeyed God the same as his father Amaziah had done. Uzziah followed God in the time of Zechariah's life. Zechariah taught Uzziah how to respect and obey God. When Uzziah was obeying the Lord, God gave him success. Uzziah fought a war against the Philistines. He tore down the walls around the towns of Gath, Jabneh, and Ashdod. Uzziah built towns near the town of Ashdod and in other places among the Philistines. God helped Uzziah fight the Philistines, the Arabs living in the town of Gerbaal, and the Meunites. The Ammonites paid tribute to Uzziah. His name became famous all the way to the border of Egypt. He was famous because he was very powerful. Uzziah built towers in Jerusalem at the corner gate, at the valley gate, and at the place where the wall turned. He made them strong. He built towers in the desert. He also dug many wells. He had many cattle in the hill country and in the flatlands. He had farmers in the mountains and in the lands where growth was good. He also had men who took care of vineyards. He loved farming. Uzziah had an army of trained soldiers. They were put in groups by Jael, the secretary, and Maasiah, the officer. Hananiah was their leader. Jael and Maasiah counted the soldiers and put them into groups. Hananiah was one of the king's officers. There were 2,600 leaders over the soldiers. These family leaders were in charge of an army of 307,500 men who fought with great power. These soldiers helped the king against the enemy. Uzziah gave the army shields, spears, helmets, armor, bows, and stones for the slings. In Jerusalem, Uzziah made machines that were invented by clever men. These machines were put on the towers and corner walls. They shot arrows and large rocks. Uzziah became famous. People knew his name in faraway places. He had much help and became a powerful king. Excuse me, sorry. <laughs> but when Uzziah became strong, his pride caused him to be destroyed. He was not faithful to the Lord his God. He went into the Lord's temple to burn incense on the altar for burning incense. Azariah the priest and eighty brave priests who served the Lord followed Uzziah to the temple. They told Uzziah he was wrong. They said to him, Uzziah, it is not your job to burn incense to the Lord. It is not right. That is for the priests, Aaron's descendants, to do. They are the only ones who have been prepared for the holy work of burning incense. You have not been faithful, so you must go out of the most holy place. The Lord God will not honor you for this. But Uzziah was angry. He had a bowl in his hand for burning incense. While Uzziah was very angry with the priests, leprosy broke out on his forehead. This happened in front of the priests in the Lord's temple by the altar for burning incense. Azariah, the leading priest, and all the priests looked at Uzziah. They could see the leprosy on his forehead. The priests quickly forced him from the temple. Uzziah himself hurried out because the Lord had punished him. So Uzziah, the king, was a leper. He could not enter the Lord's temple. His son, Jotham, controlled the king's palace and became governor for the people. Everything else Uzziah did from beginning to end, is written by the prophet Isaiah, son of Amoz. 
Uzziah died and was buried near his ancestors in the field near the king's burial places. This was because the people said, Uzziah has leprosy. And Uzziah's son, Jotham, became the new king in his place.